everyone, Emily Murphy here, your Cooper EMS fellow. Today I have one last educational video to give you guys. Today we're going to talk about the bleeding AV fistula. What is an AV fistula? Or if you're like me and think acronyms are annoying, an arterial venous fistula. This is a surgical connection that's made between the artery and the vein, often done by a vascular surgeon, usually in the arm, rarely in the leg. So they're directly, they're bypassing your little capillary beds and you're having arterial blood going directly into the vein. So this puts high flow blood in the vein, which allows it to strengthen and enlarge so that it can be used for vascular access for hemodialysis. For people that are gonna need long-term dialysis, the AV fistula is the preferred access point because they last longer and they're less prone to complications like infection or clotting compared to some of the other vascular access options. However, this is a surgery, so it takes planning, you have to go undergo anesthesia, and importantly is the vein has to strengthen and mature. So it can't be used for dialysis right after surgery. It usually has to mature for a couple of months, usually around three, before it can be used. Patients with end-stage renal disease get dialysis three times a week, and this is crucial to their survival. But remember, this is a high flow system and it's being accessed three times a week. So they can bleed and they are susceptible to bleeding. On top of that, you don't just get on dialysis without any comorbidities. These people often have long standing high blood pressure or uncontrolled diabetes, which means they're often on medication, antiplatelet medications like aspirin, Plavix, or they could be on anticoagulation for one reason or another. But it's important to remember that this AV fistula is very important to them and their survival. All right, so like I said, we know it can bleed and it's a high pressure system, so it can be pulsatile. It's bleeding, now what? No problem, we're EMS, we deal with bleeding all the time, this is easy. We take out our tourniquet, we put that on, we put on a big pressure dressing, an Israeli bandage, and we're good to go. <clears throat> Not with an AV fistula. This is a very different type of bleeding that you don't wanna control in our usual measures that we're used to. The reason being, we've already talked about how this is, they need, they need this fistula, they need their dialysis access. And they didn't just get it overnight, they had to undergo a surgical procedure, they had to let it mature, and now they're reliant on this thing in their arm or their leg to get their dialysis every day. If you put on a tourniquet or you put on one of these big pressure dressings, Israeli bandage, you can cause the fistula to clot off and it could potentially no longer be usable anymore. So all this time and energy they've spent getting this fistula to work, you put on your tourniquet and now it's clotted off and now they can't use it anymore. So now they need some other form of access for the dialysis. You don't wanna be the person that's putting that through patient through it. So what do we do? This nice thing called point or direct pressure. It's usually one little spot. Take your two fingers and put it right over wherever the bleeding is and just hold it. You hold and you drive. Also, there's a lot of different commercial devices out there, especially a lot of times these people are coming from a dialysis center. They get decannulated and all of a sudden it's bleeding. Pretty nice that dialysis standards tend to have these nice little clamps that they put in. A lot of times people come to the ER with this clamp on. It's been on there by like an hour or so take the clamp off in the ER, and they're not bleeding anymore. They're great. So if they're at a dialysis center when it stops bleeding, ask what they have. Most centers will have some sort of device because this is hardly their first rodeo. They've seen this before. And if not, two fingers and pressure. And then what? You wanna take them to the hospital. We talked about this can be high flow bleeding. They might be on anticoagulation or antiplatelets. And if for some reason the bleeding isn't getting under control, there are some more things we can do in the ER, like put in a stitch. And if that doesn't work, sometimes they need to go to the surgery with a vascular surgeon. All right, guys, this has been fun. If you ever encounter an AV bleeding fistula, remember what I said, no tourniquet, point pressure.